Oh, nice, brothers. How's it going? PPL practical going well? Yeah, it's, is it? I mean... Is that it there? When I flew to it in the 747 sim, it was completely dark. Yeah, it was completely pitch black, so I didn't get to see any of the beautiful surroundings. So I guess this is nice because this is the first time I'm able to see that. There's top of the scent. Just saw the nose suddenly pitch down. And we'll bring the throttles back. Oh, screw that, it's fine. SAS have landed an A314 to Tromso. I remember it was so funny because we got a message through V Pilot from one of the controllers who was really pissed that we were taking a 747 up into Tromso on VATSIM. And he sent us a private message as we were flying. He was like, just so you're aware, you are flying into ENTC, which is an airport not suitable for a 747. And so I think we just replied with, we can't wait to see you in a smiley face. It was really funny. Yes, he was, he was rather salty. Don't know why. So it's that island down there then. Oh, that must be the airport there. Yeah, I see the airport now. Yeah, so we're technically on the downwind leg. I'm not using the latest NVIDIA drivers right now. Hey, T Corkin, how you doing, bro? I do, yeah, I, I do have it. FTX Norway. It's amazing. Yeah, it does look good. I hope this is what FTX Norway looks like. Otherwise, there's something going on with the textures. But um, I have got it installed and it is active, so yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bradders, bro. Isn't it a really steep glide? I can't remember. I know it's a steep glide into zero. I can't remember which runway. I, I can't remember for the life of me which runway we approached from when we went in the 7-4. But isn't it a steep glide slope or something? Hey, Buck. How you doing, bro? Long time no speak, sir. Watch out for any tall glaciers. Don't need a flying Titanic here. Knowing me, it would probably happen, bro. Air traffic online is so salty. It was so funny. VAS stands for virtual address space. Basically, your memory. Hello, Infinite Fly. Ça va bien, merci. I don't know how to say it back. Or ça va, I guess. I'm so good. So good with French. Um, yes, Incarnate. We joined it about 20 minutes in. I forgot what time kickoff was. So, yeah, we joined about 20 minutes in, but um, I have got it on now. Yeah. Right, I'm going to set the QH nice and early. 1018. like so and then I'm actually going to put us into heading select and we're going to change the nav source and I'm going to arm the approach it's only going to give me the localizer at the moment just because we're a bit high but that's fine 747 into EGLC yeah that was interesting we are up in Toronto so yeah that's how that's how far up north we've come now yeah we've gone all the way from Christian Sand up to uh, up to Toronto today with three flights just re baguette. Very good. Well done, JZ. JZ, very good. Uh, S SR Jeremy, thank you very much for your follow. Welcome to the stream, dude. Um, I haven't completely stopped with VATSIM. I'm just flying on it here and there. When I definitely know I've got ATC and I'm in the mood for VATSIM, that's what I'm going to fly on the network, yeah. So I still do use it. It's just not all the time. Wow, what a beautiful part of the world. Absolutely stunning. Uh, what do I want to do here? Bring our VS up a little bit.
why do the followers not come on the stream? I'm afraid it's because we had a couple of trolls who just decided to create some nasty account names, and so I, uh, I had to take it away. But I do see the, I do see them, and you still hear the dinging sound. It's just that I, at the moment, I've had to just take away the, the, the names from the screen just in case this troll comes in because there were some pretty horrible names. But don't worry, I'll get it sorted for you guys again in the future. No worries, Goose. Thanks for tuning in, mate. There's some free weather. Okay, roger that, Dash. There's the localizer. It's captured the glide as well now. Oh, baby. I love like the way that it's just camouflaged against the snow there almost in a way. Look at that. I'm going to take flaps five now. Set the props to Mac, bring the bleeds back to Min. Yeah, it's a steep glide, I remember it now. There's the runway, just above where my mouse is. So it is a steep glide. Hey, Amundos, how you doing, man? I've been a passenger on that approach. I can imagine it's so fun to do. Join the stream at the right time. Perfect timing, Joey. Yeah, perfect timing, bud. Okay, uh, um, I'll see. I'm sorry I haven't been able to find that John Williams video for you, but I'll try and find it for you afterwards, and I'll see if I can give you a link on Discord or something. You are on Discord, aren't you? I think you are. If a pilot actually live streaming flights in real life, I'm pretty sure that would be uh, against some laws somewhere. I mean, they do record it, a lot of them, but they get told off a lot if they put their, if they even touch the camera whilst they're in flight. German Twitch poker stream was good fun. Interesting. Oh yeah, no, I've I've seen a couple of poker streams. Yeah. Hey Dennis, how you doing, bro? It seems so confusing. I know what you mean, Wazi. Yeah, I know what you mean. You are okay, and it's got cool. Just thought I'd check. Yeah, I'll send it across to you when I find it later because I want to watch it again. It's about an hour long, but it is awesome. There we go. Fully established for our last landing of the night. Just got to configure the rest of the aircraft now once we get a little bit lower. Yeah, you can see the pitch of the nose. It's about four degrees there, isn't it? So it is a bit of a steeper glide slope than usual. I'm going to bring the gear down and flaps early because I want to be able to take the autopilot out now. Oh, there's 2,500 anyway, so that's perfect timing. Gear down, flaps 15. Okay. And then we're good to land. Take out the autopilot. that speed drop back now yeah there there's the there's the the, the glide 1000 check to a stable there's the five degree glide slope luckily this aircraft is an absolute beast and you can still bring back your speed whilst on a five degree glide slope look can you see the speed on the pfd dropping back just below 150 knots with our nose like five degrees nose down right now Thank you, happy landings indeed. The last one of the night. Let's see how we do. Yeah. So this is like a much colder, much more remote EGLC in a way. Bring that nose up now because I've dropped us actually a bit below the glide. Five knot tailwind at the moment. So yeah, we should be landing on zero one. However, just with the weird routing that PFPX gave us, we actually had to choose a, a star for zero uh, for one niner so that is going to throw us a, about a little bit here very good <laughs> ENTC to EGLC what a rotation with the two like crazy airports yeah that'd be a fun one wouldn't it Uh, 
And Baseball Pro, thanks for your follow there, buddy. Welcome to the channel. Start shouting at me about my glide slope in a moment. One hundred. Fifty. Thirty. Center line. Twenty. Well. Ten. Oh my god, that is steep. Is that an aircraft coming into land? I think it is. I think there's an aircraft coming into land. Oh god. Get off the runway ladies and gents. <laughs> I'm still crap on the center line but hey. We managed to get down with a nice landing rate again. Let's vacate and let this guy. This is why I should have landed on zero one. Hey Hamanchella, thank you dude. It's fine, we got off in time. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no sense. Actually, that was probably the closest to the center line we've got today, so I'll take it. Let's watch this aircraft land. Who is it? What aircraft is it? It's a North Shuttle coming in from, um, from Trondheim. So it's a North Shuttle 737 coming in from Trondheim, yeah. That's so cool. I'm deliberately just sat here, by the way, so we can look at this. Oh, the chairs are frozen again, damn it. Bang. Okay, let me work out where I'm taxiing. Good night, Renz. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. I'm meant to be the other side of the line? Well, this is the beautiful thing about me being in a simulator. I couldn't really give a flying F. I'm just kind of going at it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm well aware that I wasn't fully vacated there, but, like, I, I couldn't really care because, like, it, it doesn't matter when we're flying offline. It really doesn't. I'm going to turn the weather radar off now because you don't need that whatsoever. Right, where am I going to park? That's the next question. Gate. 25. And we're just going to have to hope that that North Shuttle doesn't go there. Tell you what, I'm going to taxi quickly so I get in there before him. Hey, Reese. Good night, Goose. See you later, buddy. Don't know if we're going to have a jetway or not. I think not. I think we're going to be just round the corner. There's a couple of Scandinavians here as well. The North Shuttle is taxiing straight towards me. Always good fun. And there we go. The flight is 29 minutes long. What scenery is this? This is Freeware Airports of Norway scenery mixed with the um, Orbex FTX Norway. Oh god. We're having a stare down with the North Shuttle. Okay, yeah, I think I'll just... Yeah. Oh, actually, I think he stopped for the traffic, so that's good. Thank you, sir. Are you on back to No, not today. Got to go now. No worries to you, go. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, see you tomorrow, bud. Sorry if I've missed anybody else saying goodnight. night. 
Turn the taxi light off so we don't blind the marshal at. That was absolutely beautiful. What a stunning arrival. Yeah, not on the center line, but I'll take a minus 82 with a tailwind and an aircraft approaching on the opposite runway with a five degree glide. I'll take that. Come on, aircraft, creep forward. There you go, that'll do. Right, parking rake is set. Props back to start and feather. There's the North Shuttle. Taxiing on to stand and parking up. That's so cool that we got to see some traffic like that there. Again, we should have done a runway zero one arrival ourselves, but just with the weird flight planning that GSX did, we... Um, uh, with PFPX, sorry, we actually had to do a, a one-niner. But it was good fun to do it, and it was such a beautiful approach. So I don't mind that we did the one-niner, because, yeah, it was just fun to do that approach on its own. Right. Let's just see what else I need to do here. That's fine. Move that on there like so. I can bring all that off, actually, now, because we're finished with the aircraft for the night. And then we'll make sure the external power's in. Just bring that back to system. So there's no... We don't use the APU, apparently, as Kay has told us earlier on with Widero. So we wait until the external power's on, which we can see over on the uh, right-hand display now. And then we can turn off the props, bring the fuel off. And there we go. Good night, awesome player. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Indig. I appreciate that, dude. Good night, Alex, as well, if you're heading off. Good night, Wazi. Thank you very much. Sorry again if I'm missing people saying good night, but thank you. Um, let me just finish myself up off here, and, and that sounded really wrong. Um, beacon light can go off because we've not got prop movement anymore. Fast and seatbelt signs can go off. That's absolutely fine. We're on external power. We shall request deboarding. We'll go to an outside view. 